Alright everyone, welcome back to a new section of our course. We have already created our listing on uh, the Google Maps along with a free website to showcase our product services and also tell people about your business and all of your details. So the next step in this course is to create a social media profile. So for that, we'll be going towards Facebook. So now we have two options. Once we are trying to create the page, we need to tell Facebook either we are creating a page for a brand, a business, or we are trying to create a page for a community or a public figure. A public figure can be a person who is an artist, a band, or any, any person uh, who, who's going to represent the page. Similarly, in a business and a brand, you got the idea, this is the right way to go. So this is what we'll be clicking on so that Facebook could set things up accordingly for our page. So now we are going to enter the page name, it's triple A digital marketing and it's an advertising agency or advertising or marketing I'd say that advertising agency as the basic category looks good and uh, later on in the settings you could add in uh, advertising and marketing as well or any other thing that we do okay time for the address so I'm going to use the same address that I use for the Google My Business listing. London, United Kingdom, postal code. So, I do not need to put my number over here right now. And if I don't want anyone to see, uh, like to, you know, show up on my address, now, even if I have a business, it's a warehouse location, but it doesn't directly interact with customers, I can definitely go ahead and click on it. So it would not show your address, but only show the city, state, and the region that your business is in. But, you know, digital marketing, we are doing digital marketing agency. So I'm not going to click on this. I'm going to go ahead with continue. Okay, our Facebook profile is almost ready. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a profile picture. I already have the logo set up. So I'm just going to select the Facebook uh, profile picture and upload it. Similarly, you can have a picture uh, of your own or a logo or anything that represents your business or your brand. I also have the cover photo that's set up. We are trying to make it easy and simple for your understanding so we'll not be doing any designing and any other kind of stuff. So a simple setup for your business page on Facebook. So we are done with these steps. You could see the name of the business AAA Digital Marketing. Here is the cover photo. I would first start with the description of the page. This is the basic definition of what your business does. This is really important. Just like I wrote a short description previously for our business. Over here. So I'm just going to copy it. And paste it over here. But just need to make sure. So this, this description, uh, is, it should be really short and concise related to your business. Anyone who would be searching on Facebook with these terms uh, or your business name, Facebook automatically would search uh, all of the pages containing these keywords and the keywords in the description and automatically your page would show up. I think this seems good. Let's save the details. Next, we are going to set up a username for our page. 
A username is simply identified as your business name. You could see over here that your face business name is almost the same as the URL is almost the same as your business name. So we are going to create a username that is same. It's triple A digital marketing. Just make sure your uh, username is unique. Now, if you see over here, if I remove it, I put it like Triple A Digital. You see that it's this username is not uh, already available. So I'm gonna use Triple A Digital Marketing with capital A's to represent the name. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the username since it's unique. Username is Edward Digital Marketing. Anybody could search you by that. Great. Now next step is to see all the page tips. What Facebook is suggesting us to do. So it's asking us to put in our business hours. We can even go to settings and do that. But automatically when it's coming in tips. We can definitely set this up. This would make things even more uh, easier for us. So I think this, this is just the default time. I'll just save it. You can change it as per your need whenever you're operating. Just click on all tips. If See if uh, Facebook is giving us something extra. Okay. I'm going to ignore this. And just go to settings. To set all the things up before we start inviting people to our page. To our page. So. We are in the settings tab. And we've got all the options over here that we could use. Set up our Facebook profile, restricted, any rules, any specific things that you need for a business. So, if you want for any reason you want to unpublish your page, you will definitely deactivate it or just click on the page and publish. Publish and unpublish it and it would not appear in any of the searches or visitors post. just going to go ahead and zoom into this page so it make things even better for you. Okay, this looks good. So we are in the visitors post. So this part is where you could put some description on your page. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so this is allowing us, the, it's already set up to allow visitors to, uh, on the page to publish the posts and allow photos and videos. However, I, I believe that it's it's not, you do not want any other person to just put in anything on your page. So I would check on review posts by other people before you publish them to page. So whenever anybody is posting anything on your page, they would first come for a review. If you approve it, then it's going to show up on your page. If you don't, then it's, it won't. So I'm going to save changes because we do not want anyone else to, to uh, post anything on our pages. Okay, you could see that we got uh, like a notification over here that the changes have been saved. And definitely one important thing that you that you want to do is that if, if you want people to give a review uh, on your page just like it was in your business listing, people could definitely give a review about uh, who have already uh, communicated with you, who have already worked with you or any person who got in touch with your business, they could definitely give a review that would help you get even more customers. I'm just going to allow that. If you want, you can disable it. Definitely, this would work for people who are not uh, of our businesses who are directly not uh, involved with the customers, like a warehouse or any other location. Okay. I believe there are some new options that are already added over here. I'm going to go ahead and explain each one of them. Allow new speed options, selection and post visibility options for this page. Okay, I'm not sure about this option. It wasn't there, so I won't be talking about this. Okay, uh, people can contact my page privately. That's correct. Anybody can message you on the page. If you already have the option for a page, nobody would like to turn that option off. Uh, it's just like turning down a customer who has a question, so it isn't good for business. So we're just going to leave it like that. People who manage the page 
can uh, type photos posted on it definitely allow this to type photos and videos published on definitely if anyone any of my employees they see a picture posted on the, the company profile and if they want anyone to tag anyone else to get tagged in the photo they can definitely do that if you don't want anything like that just don't click it Similarly, I am allowing other people to tag my page in different posts. If specifically, supposedly, if someone is looking for, uh, for a digital marketing agency and somebody refers my business name to them, so they could just mention our name in the comment and it would appear. If I turn this off, our name would not appear in the comments. At the rate, AAA Digital Marketing. So this is the term they would be using in the comments just like you uh, mentioned anyone uh, uses this to tag us in, in a comment they can definitely do that because I have enabled this if I disable that option the tagging ability the person cannot mention us directly in a post so I think I'll leave this right now over here it could help me get some customers People and other people can type a page, people from your page, location of photo frame effects, I'm just gonna leave that. I don't have any uh, country restrictions, that page is available to for everyone. Now this is a really important tool, page moderator. If you want to block any offensive words, like fake, shape, scam, fraud, or any other word that you don't want to appear on your page if anyone posts a comment that you guys are a fraud or this is scam or this is fake or anything like that you know the possibilities we all have been through uh, the comment section on youtube so i can definitely these words any any uh any sentence created having these words uh basically those words would not be uh, would not appear so it's it's a really good way to make your page more secure Definitely, I would like to keep this open for a similar page suggestion. People who are doing the same thing, uh, whenever anybody is on their page, they could see our page in the suggestions, and similarly, we would see other businesses in our suggestions. So we can definitely follow them and uh, see what they are up to get to get some ideas of our own. Okay, whenever we update any information on the page, it would automatically be posted. It could be anything uh, and automatically all of our people who are on the page, they could see it. Uh, we do not want any uh, post to be written in different language. It's going to be in English, automatic translation, comment ranking, uh, downloading uh, to Facebook is allowed. If I don't want my content to be shared, I'm just going to click a prohibit downloading from Facebook. Well, I'm just gonna keep it like that because all of my hair posts would be having uh, the logo of my brand. So, it's a no problem. If you want to delete your page, this is the option to go. And if you want to work your page with another page, so this is the option for to go. I'm not going to be talking about these. But we'll be going ahead with other options for the page that we need to set up. Now, I'm going to click on messages. So we are done with the boring part and this is where uh, the fun starts. These are the settings for messaging. I'm to click, going to click on this, it's off, on, we we'll turn this on. When I'm running messages, I want to keep, like to keep it off. So basically whenever anybody visits your page, automatically our page would ask them to give us a message. And similarly, we'll turn off all the other settings giving them a meeting, a greeting, or anything like that that we want people to come on our page we want to, you know, create a two-way conversation so it's a one-way to start a conversation with the page who are uh, trying to get in touch so if anyone sends us a message uh, we send, we get there, that person gets an instant reply uh, thanks for messaging us, we are trying to be as responsible as responsive as possible, we'll get back to you soon so if I want, I could change it here is a preview, the person is like, hi, I have a question, and this is the automatic response that we are doing. I'm going to try to humanize it, I'm going to click on 
add personal okay thanks and then I'll try to put in the person's first name you do have all the other options if we could use you can use the person's full name surname first name so I'll try to be, make it short hi yes, sir that's my name for messaging us we will try to be responsive as possible we'll get back to you soon so this sounds good let me see if it's looking good as well okay we need to put a space over here here is the word limit we could add definitely more things over here the instant reply I'm just going to click save if you're not on your computer, your turn, you're, you're not available on your seat and you cannot reply to the person, then here is a message for them as well. If we are offline, so this is a message that the person will be receiving when you are offline. And you can see it has uh, the full name, uh, my full name, and this is the away message. You can definitely add some more personalization over here, but I'm going to keep it simple most important thing over here is the messenger greeting so when someone comes on uh, like comes on uh, your page and they try to click on a messenger button so before they choose to start the chat there's a greeting that's over there that you could see before you initiate the chat so it's the greeting that you like to put hi asarma thanks for getting in touch with the messenger Please send us any questions that you have. So in the meeting, in the in the greeting, uh, it's opting us to, uh, it's telling them, greeting them that, hi, how are you? If you have any questions, ask us. So in that scenario, if we are online, automatically, our this response, we get to them. If we are away, then the away response, get to them so this way you can easily interact with customers you can customize these messages or people to act or people to ask question give them according to uh, accordingly same replies you can even put in your number over here or email address or any kind of details that you like to provide to the person who's trying to contact you so now we are done with setting these things up We are going to the info page info tab now. We are going to the info page info tab now. In which we are going to put in further information about your business. So like I mentioned earlier, the shop description of your page is there. I'm gonna remove this and make it even better we are a social media and digital marketing agency located in Bradford UK let's take some help from the information that we've already put in And see how much of it we can use. We special analyze in social media. Specialize in. I'm gonna change that because we don't want to repeat the same keywords again and again. Online marketing. Online marketing. And all kinds of PPC ads and all kinds of advertising we specialize we are a, we are a social media a social media and digital marketing agency located in Bradford UK that specialize in online marketing and all kinds of advertising so basically, 
this is the description of the page definitely you can define your own business uh, in a really simple way we are on the page info tab so let me talk about the page description again we mentioned all the things that we do we do social media digital marketing we are an agency our location our specialization another word for digital is online the term marketing and the term advertising so these are all the terms related to marketing your business either it's social media it's digital uh, in a specific city country and all other keywords that I could find so you could have the idea and use similar something similar for your business or if you need help with your business you can definitely uh, leave a question for me in the QA and I'll be there to assist you setting up a small description for your business I'll try to put in some category now it's an advertising agency we can put in two more so it's our putting marketing agency and marketing advertising these are three these these are the categories that my business belongs to so I'm going to use these and save them so this is something for some specific countries I won't be needing it so I won't be talking about it let's cancel that I have a phone number for the business and I want people to interact with me so let's do save this and similarly we have our website now so I'm going, just going to go ahead and paste the website link. I can even put the link to my Instagram or Twitter over here or any other address or a web page that I have available. Play digital marketing at gmail yahoo sorry it's gmail .com. So we are putting in all the details over here. You could see that already uh, the address that we put in previously, it's already, the map is already there. You can add some additional thing that we have uh, car parking, the hours that we mentioned earlier, and the price range for any product that we are selling or for any service that we are providing. So let's save the changes. So we are now done with the page information. We are now going to go ahead setting up our, the template for our Facebook profile and all the tabs. So let me show you the templates that are available right now. So you could see that if you are in the services business, you can use this tablet. Let's view some details. So the, the main features are the buttons encourage people to take action that you've selected. I can uh, ask people to call me over here. They can send me an email, a message, get directions to my business. Similarly, the tab that we have normally for uh, a service business are these. Home, services, reviews, shop, offers, photos, video posts, event, community, and uh, info and tab. And definitely if we change, if we try to change uh, the template, it would vary from one tablet to another, but it would not be very diff different. So if I'm a, I'm like a social media, like a digital marketing agency, I can either go with service, or I could go, either go with business. Similarly, we've got venues, movies, non-profit organizations, politicians, cafes and restaurants, shopping website like for e-commerce, or a video page for a YouTube channel, and just a standard profile that you know like to create a simple one that you like to arrange uh, and set by your own self see if you if you change the template the view of your page will totally change definitely we could check those out but now right now we're just going to go ahead with the, with the business name because even though you are providing a service you are a business so I strictly believe that I'll be using this and you could see that it doesn't have much of the difference from the service uh, from the service uh, template 
So I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply this one. Apply template. Before we have a look at our page, let's see the tabs, arrangements of tabs over here. We've got posts. We've got photos. I'm just gonna arrange the tab according to my own self. I don't want groups over here. I don't want offered right now. Uh, I don't want to go for about right now. Okay, this looks good. Anyone who drops down on my page first thing, this is gonna see. Uh, on the home page, it's gonna see the posts, photos, the reviews, and after that, videos. As you drag down to any other page. Use default tabs. It's it's looking good, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. If I even want, I could add any tab. For events, for shop sections, for services, for live videos that I've created for, and for even events. I don't need them right now, so I'm just gonna let them be. And move forward with post attribution. Oh, okay. So this is something more important since this profile is uh, on my profile. Uh, I'm sorry, this page is already on, is on my profile. So I could either post with my own name when I'm on, whenever I'm posting anything on uh, through the page. Or through the business name so i'm gonna keep it on the business name because nobody knows who nobody uh, no one else would know that i'm managing the page and if i'm talking on behalf of the page with my name so it would sound really weird so i'm just going to keep it this way post as triple a triple a marketing we have the options for notifications i'm just going to turn off these notifications because they would just bombard my email with everything. I've turned on the text messages, the emails on on, on any important update, or I've got email for the messages. But for all the notifications, if anyone's liking the post, if anybody's promo, uh, tagging me in a picture and all the people are commenting. So it's it's hundreds of emails in one single day. So uh, you can even turn this off on your own profile and see it's, it's it really saves you from a lot of email. So you only get updates for the important things. So it makes things less messy for, for me. So it would work for you too. Come to page roles. Okay, so now we'll be talking about the page roles. We are in the part of the settings in the tab of page roles. This is the part where you can add and manage existing people on the page. Just one thing, it does make sure that the person that you are trying to add, let's make sure he's in your friend list as well. Because sometimes if you search for a specific person or a name, let me show you if I want to assign like a name. Okay, these are some of my profiles that I could definitely uh, want to give access to the page uh, with, with any specific position like admin, ad, uh, editor, moderator, advertiser or analyst. So since I am the admin, I can manage these and invite more people. If I have an employee who would be managing everything of the page as an admin but does not have right to uh, remove me uh, himself because only an admin could remove an admin from the page or uh, any other person who is an editor or all of these posts they could not remove the admin so if you are trying if you are the admin of the page and if you want to add someone to your page and give them control uh, the whole control of the page apart from the place where they could uh, delete you from the profile and take away your access so give them the ex the get, hire them as a, add them as an editor so they will have the same rights but they cannot remove you like they cannot remove the admin from the page if you put an advertiser on the post advertise you if you put anyone as the as the advertiser if you add them for that so they'll be focusing specifically for an advertising uh, similarly, if you have a person who would be analyzing all the analytics of uh, the Facebook page through the insights or any other thing, so they'll be having this option and automatically their option to create posts and reply to comments would be restricted. So the people who have basically the option to reply to comments and uh, everything on the page is the admin and the editor 
Uh, mod filter is also an option, but I haven't checked it out, so I won't be talking about it. If any of you know, any of you have already been working as a moderator, so do uh, give us an answer in the QA section, and I would definitely highlight it in the course for everyone's learning. So this is the part where you could add people to the page. I'm just gonna leave that and go in the tab of people and other people's pages so if people who are already following these pages you can just carry them out if you have banned someone people that like this page people who follow this page and any other details you could search over here with these names and see some specific details about them since this page is new so we don't have anything right now but this is something definitely you could check out we have the tab for preferred audience if you want to restrict your audience to a specific country uh, well i won't be doing this anywhere uh, so i would just let it be and you're gonna not gonna go into uh, authorizations or branded content cross posting or the support inbox but i would definitely go to instagram and try to create an instagram profile as well but we'll be doing that in a few moments once we are done with all the settings of the page so these are just general settings i'm going to click and go back to my facebook page and see what else we need to do we'll be doing that in a few moments once we are done with all the settings of the page so these are just general settings i'm going to click and go back to my facebook page and see what else we need to do before we could start advertising so i have the option we have the cover photo uh, we have the profile photo the cover photo I'm just ready to create a post now. So now the page is almost ready and I could invite people to my page. So I can definitely go ahead and invite all of those people that I already know to bring some followers to the page and start getting uh community so this is the basic step you can definitely invite all the people who already know you most likely the people would follow you and you would have a small amount of people who are connected to your page already so this is a really powerful tool to invite the people that you already know the people that already know you would definitely support you and help you create a good community I'm just going to close this and you can type in a specific person's name invite them as well and my invitation is already sent to these people who are connected to my person profile so I will definitely start getting some likes on the page now I'll try to add the button in which I could uh, do some settings kind of business so if anyone gets to my page and they want to contact if they if I like uh, I'm a business who's making an application or a game I could definitely link this to your uh, link to that uh, that to my game or my app if we are a organization that that also takes donation we can definitely go about this I can make people learn about my business through a video or just a learn more button that could direct them to a specific page and in the next page we can definitely set this up so I'm just gonna click on contact you and I'm just going to ask the person to call us so I'm going to click on next and add the phone number that I want the person to contact me at so this is really easy okay I believe our number that I use was incorrect so I'll try to see the number that I have on the listing okay I'm 
Is this gonna click on send message? Okay, so I'm gonna click on contact you. Like contact me and I'm gonna just set it up on send message so that they could message my Facebook uh, profile or the page. We have messenger set up so we're just gonna finish it. And whenever someone comes on a page and they click on uh, like I'm gonna uh, click on send message so they automatically will be directed to our uh, messenger. So I'm gonna tap this button. When anyone clicks on this option automatically our chat will pop up. And just like I mentioned about the greeting earlier, the name of the person, please send us any questions that you have. So it's really simple. So this is how any person coming in your page can be interacted with through the settings on the page, the greetings, the instant replies that tested out completely. Click on hi and let's see what happens. I have received the message. Here is the notification. Since it's my own profile, so I think it, an automatic response is not getting sent. But it's been set up. Let's go back to settings. and go to the messaging tab. Instant replies were off. Let me turn this on. Let's go back to the page. And invite some more people at the same time. Let's click on test button. Now click on hi. Let's see what happens. The automated response has been sent now. If you see this response is not getting sent, so that means uh, the setting is off. Now we've turned it off, it's automatically being sent. So it would make things better and easy for us. The basic information on the page has been set up. I'm just gonna go ahead now and create our first post. The basic information on the page has been set up. I'm just gonna go ahead now and create our first post by sharing a photo. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create posts and click on photo. So we have different options. Uh, we can upload a photo, a video, create an album, a carousel, a simple slideshow, and uh, this canvas ad as well. I'm gonna click on upload a photo. And share a picture that I have saved, uh, used previously on our website. some content so let's just paste this we specialize in social media marketing digital marketing video marketing and all kinds of people but I think it can help your brand to be successful in the digital world a simple message I'd like to put it in our page story as well it, I think it's not possible right now so I'm just since we really don't have any community so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on share now. Let's wait for the post to get uploaded. Alright, it's done. So this is how our page is looking. I have my business name now. Add more digital. So now that I'm done with the first post, I'm just going to see a look how my page would look for anyone who's coming in. So I do a smart trick. Just copy the whole URL 
or the URL with the name and open it up in a different browser that does not have your account logged in so for that I have another browser and I'm going to just search for a business name and see how our business page is looking perfect this looks amazing anyone who lands on our page this is what he's going to see triple a digital marketing see our posts and then our picture photos over here just like we arrange all the tabs and then all the posts all together and then videos so we specialize in social media marketing video marketing the post that we created it's right in front you could see the business name its category the location the exact location on the map for a person to get direction and visit your business we have the contact number uh, a link to the messenger for messages the link to the website its category and also the hours for the business so here we go the profile is created this is how amazing the business is looking and as we keep on posting content the page would look even better and better so you see the option for send message anyone who's driving dropping in on our profile would definitely send a message if they're already on our facebook already logged into their facebook so they could just follow us on the page and similarly like i mentioned the website earlier i do not have the account logged into this browser so let me just arrange my router. Okay, perfect. So you see the website, it's looking beautiful. If I click on call now. So if I have Skype or any other software installed or I am on a phone, it would directly go to a, a calling software. A person can ask for directions through the map. Our services details about our business link to our social media pages you can definitely go ahead and add this uh, our business uh, link to this profile uh, this update now so this is how amazing our facebook page is looking uh, you can simply make it in not so much time if you follow this course step by step accordingly we close all the tabs I'm back on the page I think now we are ready to go ahead with this course into the next step so thank you much all of you for staying sticking in this course for so long I hope you learned something valuable today and the next step we will be going forward into Instagram and creating in an Instagram profile. So thank you very much people. Stay tuned and stay ready.